This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot here to do another 48 hour energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. Spirit, give me oracle messages for the sign of Aquarius for this week. Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, let's see what it has there. At the bottom of the deck, we have Trust the Ningle. What is the Ningling feeling trying to tell you? You're having a feeling at the pit of your stomach, at the top of your head. What is it saying to you, Aquarius? What is it telling you to focus on? all right so we have four i'm gonna take all four all right so we have get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so for some of you you may need to take a walk this week plant your feet on some grass do a meditation or two create heaven on earth it's happening so just remember you have what it takes to make your own reality possible we have imrama where are you being called to journey to are you being called to choose another part from the one that you are currently on aquarius dance with life do something to change your energy so these messages are saying to you to check what it is your inner soul is saying what your higher self is telling you get grounded see into your own self connect with nature but if you look at this card it's beautiful Create heaven on earth. Create what it is you want, Aquarius. You have the ability and the means to. Where are you being called to journey? Where are you being called to go? What are you being called to do, Aquarius? Do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do to change the way your energy flows. All right. Let's see what the... Tarot's are going to tell you guys for the situation between you and your person. Now, these oracles are just for you guys. It's up to you if you're willing to take what a spirit is indicating to you to work on. Okay, so let's see what is happening between Aquarius and their person for the 8th to the 9th of June. Hmm... Isn't it wonderful that you could have the magician come out here and create heaven on earth? It's happening. You're manifesting something, Aquarius. And spirit is confirming to you that it is definitely coming to fruition for you. You have all the tools. You have what it takes to create the life you want. I keep saying that since the oracles came out. Yeah. You're creating stability. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. You could have it in your charts. Yeah. Okay, so your person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person doesn't want love with you anymore. They're trying to find strength to make a decision. Wow. You have tower at the bottom of the deck. Something is about to shock you, Aquarius. The universe is about to bring something crumbling down around you. That's the reason they're telling you to get grounded, connect with nature. Because I think this week your empathic side is going to be overly active. It's happening. So this tower moment is happening 
right now all right so let's see the energies around the new this week <clears throat> you're trying to be nurturing kind you're trying to be stable as well you're trying to make decisions that are right for you but you are feeling anxious you're feeling anxiety you're feeling like you're feeling in a desperate type of energy like there is something you want to do but you can't do it because you're holding yourself back you're holding yourself from manifesting a new beginning with someone something stable something small but it can reach to this you want to start at this and go down to this you gotta start here and reach here so you're in the mindset of going backward instead of forward and i think you need to change that mindset you need to change the energy that is around you all right so the person you're connecting with this could be romantic it could not be romantic could be somebody that you are connected to energetically doesn't always have to be romantic so please don't tell me phoenix i'm not with anybody okay take it how it resonates you could be connecting to aries leo or sag but this person is being like a spoiled brat right now they're trying to be controlling they're trying to be demanding and they're trying to manipulate you but you aren't ready for this type of connection yet they aren't ready for it either but they're trying to make you believe that they are and they're trying to force a relationship to happen with you it's causing you anxiety you feel like you're losing this person but this person really doesn't want a new beginning in love with you just yet they're trying to manipulate you they are trying to see which one of you has the more say or the more balls in the situation they have already decided they have already made their decision what that decision is let me try to find out for you guys why is the king of pentacles here for the sign of aquarius why is the king of pentacles here okay you're tired of waiting on something you're ready to sit pretty you're ready to rule you're ready to have everything you want in a 3d settings this person is trying to force a commitment a long-term commitment with you for some of you they are trying to force you to get married to them wow could be a taurus you are connecting with but somebody is trying to force a connection here force a commitment here mm -hmm. what are you manifesting aquarius you're manifesting time apart you're manifesting time to figure out what you want with this person. You're manifesting that this person gives you some distance and space. Yeah, because you're being frustrated. It's feeling like the weight of the world is weighing you down because you're not sure you want this connection with this person. You're not ready to get married to this person. You're not ready to move in with this person. You're not ready to have anything long term or stable with this person. And they are trying to tell you that it is time that you guys go to the second phase of your relationship and they're feeling like you're distancing yourself from them. This is this person manipulating you, by the way, Aquarius. So, for some of you, this person is trying to create distance between you. For some of you, that this person has moved out or is not speaking to you at this point in time it is a manipulation in hopes that you would finally commit to them this person isn't ready for marriage either you know they just want an engagement ring yeah they're being impatient about it and obsessive yeah could be a capricorn some of you are dealing with but this person is being obsessive manipulative lying doing whatever he or she has to do to get you to commit to them but a tower is coming 
they may be surprised that you break this relationship off for good. The choice is yours at the end of the day, but I know what I see. You want distance because you are feeling pressured to do this. This may backfire on this person, but it's everyone is different. You know your situation. Reverse the roles if you need to. But this is what I have for you this week. All right. Have a good one.